and I could have sold these individually, but when I looked on the packaging, it said to do a king size, it required seven packs. I had seven packs. So I'm like, I'm going to put seven packs together and put king in the title. And these sold really quickly for. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about 22 Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items that I bought low and sold for big money. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Now, I also have a whole series that I do on my bread and butter Bolos. I like those too, but these are my big money, so let's get started. All right, so the first item I sold is this vintage Mopkins full body puppet. Pink fur, sunglasses, hat. This guy is fantastic. Picked him up at a garage sale for $5 and sold him for a best offer of $48.88 plus shipping. I will say that I source cheap. So as you're going to see throughout this video, I pick items up really, really cheap. So let me know in the comments, how do you source? Do you spend a lot of money on your items or do you feel like you source cheap? All right, the next item I sold is a huge lot of boys, mini and action figures, vehicles, cars, accessories, and toys. I just call this a toy box. These are items that I was listing and I kind of got lazy. I love parting stuff out like this. I did not look up every single item. I just threw these in a bundle. Now, could this be a reseller lot? Quite possibly. Am I selling it as a reseller lot? No, I'm just selling it as a toy box. So a parent may want to grab one of these for their kids. Just be like, here you go. And then their kid opens it and they just have fun for what? A day, two days, three days. Who knows how long? They might not like anything. They might love something. Who knows? But it's just kind of like when we buy mystery boxes. It's super fun. So it's like a mystery box for a child. Um, now, could a reseller buy it and potentially make some money? Absolutely. It depends. You have to look at the pictures and see if there's anything like use Google Lens, look things up. I don't know. I just, at, sometimes I get to the point where I'm like, I just can't do it and I'll create a toy box. So this one sold for a best offer of $50 and the buyer paid shipping on this. This here is a Fisher-Price Puffalump plush pony zebra from 1991. I have sold this before. So I have been lucky enough to find this item two times since I have started reselling. Super excited about it. And I got this at a garage sale for $1. Took a best offer of $75 plus shipping. Um, Puffalump. If you see a Fisher-Price Puffalump, this is the tag. You can't even tell what it is. Um, I know that it's a Puffalump because I've sold it before. But um, the tag is toast on this because it's just been it's been played with. It's a pre-owned item. So definitely be on the lookout for any puff lump items. This zebra horse, whatever it is, goes for a little more money. So uh, definitely look for that one. All right. I don't know if you guys remember. I did a video where I was at the Goodwill Benz outlet and I picked up all of these. And it's hard to see how big these are, but these are actually four inches each. So they're pretty big. And I was at the Goodwill Benz and I was just throwing them in my cart, all of them. And I went up to the manager and I said, hey, look, um, I can't buy these by weight. It's going to be way too much money. There were 134 pieces and she gave me one price for all of them. Um, I think uh, I cannot remember. I think it's in the video how much it was, but it was a really good deal. Um, this, would I do it again? I don't know because it took a little while to sell and it was kind of a pain to package. And when I was listing them, I was outside and it actually started raining. <laughs> so I had to wipe them down and it, it just ended up being more work than I expected, but I did make a great profit. I ended up selling these for $81.25 plus shipping. And again, I believe this was in a video that um, a challenge video that I did with Dad Planet. So look for that. It was like maybe a scavenger hunt or something like that. 
This one here is a Barbie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's a signature collection item. I picked this up in a mystery box from Auctions for You. It was a toy box. And I can't remember if it was a $100 box or a $150 box, but I do have the unboxing on this channel that will give you all of that information and show you all of the items that I got in that box. Auctions for You is a YouTube channel that sells inventory to resellers. Definitely check her out. Uh, Donatella Bottolino is also a YouTube channel that I buy from. You guys, if you've been here a while, you hear me talk about them all the time because I buy from them and you hear about them in my what solds. So definitely a great place to source. I will link them down below. I ended up selling this for $39 plus shipping. This here, this came from an estate buyout. Um, let me explain it a little better. It was a garage sale. And I went to the garage sale and I was looking in the garage and I was making piles because it was amazing. Oh my goodness. And all of these items are going to be coming to whatnot. Um, almost all of them. There's a few things that I pulled out to make my money back and make a little extra. And then I just want to blow out all the other craft items on whatnot. There is some incredible items. Um, but I did pull out this brooch because it was signed. But this brooch was stuck to a journal. And I looked at it and I'm like, oh, that looks really special. But you can see right here, it is chipped up here on the corner. So I did not get as much as I would have had the item been perfect. Um, I did end up selling this for a best offer of $50 and I sold it. Um, they were all in with tax and shipping for $59.83. So anyway, I'm at this garage sale, estate sale, whatever it is, and I'm making a pile and they've got all of these black trash bags in the middle of the garage floor. And I'm like, what's going on with those? And they're like, oh, that stuff's going to the trash. And I'm like, is it trash or is it what you think is trash? And they're like, well, there's probably some good stuff in there, but it's just stuff that we we can't, we just want to get rid of it. And I'm like, can I buy the bags? <laughs> so I bought all the bags. Um, I think I paid a dollar each for them and I found some amazing stuff. Um, I have no idea why they thought that it was throwaway. I think a lot of times people, when they're cleaning out estates, they just don't know the value of things and they just want it gone. So the next thing that happened after that was they, it was either before or after that, I don't know which, but they're like, do you want to go to the basement? And I'm like, do I want to go to the basement? Yes. Take me to the basement. And there's going to be a full video on everything that I purchased from this sale. I'm going to release it before I do the whatnot show um, for you guys to just see all the incredible, amazing items I got. Um, to part it out and put it all on eBay and Mercari and Poshmark, it would take me years. It is so much stuff. So I'm going to do bundles probably and small lots over on whatnot. If you guys are not following me on whatnot, uh, there is a link down below. It is a referral link. You will get $15 to shop if you join with that link. If you don't join with that link, if you're already joined, you can still click on it and it will take you over to Bolo Buddies and you can follow me or you can just look me up on Whatnot with Bolo Buddies. If you want to sell on Whatnot, I will tell you I've done five, six shows now and I absolutely love it. The one thing that caught me off guard is how much time it takes from start to finish to complete the task. Um, it's a lot of shipping and it's a lot of prep. And then you're on four or five times, you know, when you're live. But, oh my goodness, it is so fun and the time just flies while you're live. It is super, super fun. So if you want to sell on Whatnot, I have another referral link down below. If you click on that link, it will um, give you a form to fill out to become a seller and it will say that I referred you. And from what I understand, you do... Are, I, guess, I shouldn't say you do. You are more likely to get accepted quicker. I used a referral link and I got accepted very quickly. But I also have a social media following. So I don't know if it had anything to do with that or not. But I know I've had two or three people use my link and they were accepted right away and they do not have a social media following. So definitely keep that in mind. Those links are down below. But look at this brooch. Even broken. Right here's the chip. Here's a close up. And it's still a, a beautiful piece, but it did have a chip. I was so disappointed when I saw that. Okay, so let me tell you a funny story about this. So I bought these pencils at um, an estate. I think I had about a dollar in them. Um, 
I wasn't sure if they were going to be big money or not. I looked them up. Now, somebody bought them from me and then they messaged me and wanted to cancel the order because they found them on Amazon cheaper. And I'm like, can you show me a photo? Well, they send me a photo of a different item. I'm like, that's not the same item. Um, you cannot compare price to price. These are new old stock that there's just no comparison. So anyway, no problem. I canceled the order. I relisted it and I took a best offer of $119 on these and the buyer paid shipping. So when somebody says they found it on another website cheaper, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're correct. So make sure you do your homework. But I just told them that's fine. I'll cancel the order. No big deal. The right buyer will come along. This also came from an estate clean out. They are Lancaster stamped quilt blocks. And I could have sold these individually, but when I looked on the packaging, it said to do a king size, it required seven packs. I had seven packs. So I'm like, I'm gonna put seven packs together and put king in the title. And these sold really quickly for $115 plus shipping. The next item, it came from that same estate. At this estate, I got tons and tons of crafters items. Basically, I loaded my car. I paid them one price for everything. So the breakdown, I don't know exactly what I paid per item, but it wasn't much. This is a different estate sale from the uh, crafters estate sale. So uh, this is a Bucilla Jiffy Cross Stitch Quilt Yorktown double size. I don't know what it is, but look how old it is. And it is super, super cool. I ended up selling this for a best offer of $70 plus shipping. The next item is this souvenir cheese head. And this is for the Green Bay Packers. It's from 1996. And I sold this for $40. Um, I did do local pickup on this. Somebody um, reached out to me and said that they needed it for like the next day or whatever. So I met them at a public place. And they bought this and I paid 50 cents for this at a garage sale. These right here are so cute. And I had no idea that they were going to do so well when I picked them up. I got them at a garage sale for 50 cents. They were 25 cents each. They say inky dinkies and they are so cute. They're Eastern. I'm sorry, North American Bear Company. And they're great for Easter. And, and I called them twins, which is a tip that I got from Donatella Bottolino. Um, she said, put twins in the title. So that's what I did. So 50 cents investment sold these for $50 plus shipping. And let me tell you, they are just, they're itty bitty. They're teeny. And I can't believe I don't have a tape measure, but you can see them in my hand right here. They are tiny. Here's another puff -a lump This one's from 1993. It's a lion. I got this at a garage sale for $1. Took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. Here is the tag. You can see this one a little better. It says Fisher Price, um, puff -a lump right there. It is written on the tag. So these are just an incredible bolo. I think it says it um, right here on this tag also. So $50 on that one, buyer paid shipping. This next item was actually a pickup from my husband. I had told him that I was doing well with folk art Santas and he brought this guy home. Um, I can't remember if he already had it. And I told him and he brought it in and showed me or if I told him and then he found it. But either way, pretty exciting that he um, found this item. It was marked on the bottom like this. And he sold this for $65 plus shipping. I'm not sure what he paid for it. He goes to a lot of estate sales and flea markets. So, um, but I'm guessing he didn't pay much, maybe five bucks. Mighty Beans Slammer Time Racetrack, two exclusive beans inside, and it is an open box. So it is new open box. Uh, I believe, oh, I can't remember where I got this and I didn't write it down. I don't know if it was a garage sale or if it was a thrift store or even a mystery box. Not sure. Sold it for $48 plus shipping and this thing flew out of my store. This is a Heli Hansen Sweater Men's XXL. This one was long tail, but this is a good brand. Um, at least it was when I was searching comps, but that was like probably over a year ago. So um, sold this one for $38.99 plus shipping. This is a vintage Tasmanian Devil Taz mug from 1989, and it was featured in the National Lampoon Christmas Vacation movie. Okay, you guys ready for this story? Uh, this was sitting in my money pile. So I know you guys know I showed a before and after picture of my money pile and I put everything into totes and I organized it. I have a video on it. 
but I found this item when I was organizing and I remember doing a video on it and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is just sitting in here with no padding, no bubble wrap. I had picked it up at a garage sale, had no idea at the time that it was a big money bolo. And I knew when I saw it that it was. So I listed it right away. I want to say I paid like a buck for it at a garage sale, sold it for $115 plus shipping. The next item are these two, 260 Go Go Crazy Bones plastic figures by Magic Box Toys. I got these at a garage sale for five bucks. They are incredible. They're these little toys. I used Google Lens to figure out what they were. And uh, yeah, I, I did a video and I actually put the full... Oh, I thought I linked it down below. I did not link it. Um, over on my reseller testing Bolo products, I did do a video and I showed each item individually. I think I was going to put it in the description and I must have forgotten. But this is what they have on the back. So definitely be on the lookout for these. I sold these for $200. Uh, the buyer was all in for $224.56. And that was with tax and shipping. These are vintage McDonald's Happy Meal toys, transformers, changeables, food, lot of nine. I got these at the Goodwill Bins. I actually have a video. It's a Goodwill Bins video that says like fighting over these. Definitely go check that out. Dad Planet was there at the same time. We were both at the same bin. He was looking for McDonald's toys and I was looking for McDonald's toys. I grabbed these. He grabbed something else. So go check out that video to see what bolo he found. And let me know if you have ever found these out in the wild. I sold these for $40.30 plus shipping. Definitely go sub up Dad Planet. He has an awesome YouTube reseller channel. This one right here um, is a vintage antique mink head girls muff and headband hat ties. See details. The, these are a little different. Um... I, I saw it at a garage sale. I picked it up for 10 bucks. I just thought it was different. Uh, I know that people have different feelings about these types of things, um, which is understandable. It is a little bit different. Um, but I sold this for $50 and the buyer paid shipping. So I don't know, kind of weird. I Not my thing, but it was sitting at a garage sale. So I picked it up. The next item is awesome. This is in another language. And I'm like, can I sell this? And I got this for $1 at a garage sale. And I sold it for $74.40 plus shipping. It is a Labyrinth, oh, L-A-B-Y-R-I-N-T-H. It's from 1991. It's in German. How cool is that? And I sold it for full asking price plus shipping. This next item is a vintage nativity set, Hong Kong plastic. It's SS and then it's Cressege, K-R-E-S-G-E -E company in the original box. How cool is this? I did take it out to show you guys. It is incredible. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold this for $46.50 plus shipping. And the buyer was all in for $59.16. The next item is this McDonald's ornament, which also came out of a thrift store mystery box. Um, a lot of times I get a lot of junk in those thrift store mystery boxes, but sometimes there are some home runs. Um, but uh, if you want to see more of those videos, they are over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. And then I've also done some reseller vlogs where I'm trying to incorporate them into maybe a reseller vlog style and what sold together. So I recently did one of those over here also. So there was this McDonald's ornament and this Big Mac ornament, and I sold the two of them to the same person for $100. The buyer was all in for $127.76. All right, you guys, there were some big money bolos. I think 22 of them. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're new for... Let's try that again. If you're new here, tell me how you found the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much. and. Thanks for watching.